Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a blessing, it's an honor to be out here in nature and greeting you wherever you are, bringing a message of emancipation to you, a message that will set you free, a message I point in you to look inwardly, to discover your true identity or your divinity. Thus the reason why I want to speak to you concerning the divine laws that governs the universe and, the, and governs the rest of humanity also. Now I will have spoken about the love of oneness and the love of correspondence and so on and the love of cause and effect and all of these other laws which I would encourage you to check out if you haven't checked them out as yet. And now I'm speaking to you concerning the law of rhythm. That whatever goes out, it comes back in. And the tide is a very good example to show you the law of rhythm. For the same tide or the same wave that comes into the shore of the sea is the same that goes back out. And so too, when we come to understand that it is our thoughts that is creating our reality, we would understand why the Bible says that my words would not return unto me void, but it would accomplish that which I send it to. Because everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. And our thoughts, they are vibrational frequencies that is going out and must accomplish or bring forth its manifestation. Thus the reason why the Bible tells you, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But you have to understand that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history. And that the Bible is written symbolically and given to humanity to teach them how to understand their, and how to use their psyche. Because the Bible addresses the human psyche. That's the reason why my brother and my sisters, when you work with the divine laws that governs all of humanity and governs the universe, you will be more aligned in understanding the world that you are living in. So the law of rhythm, when you master the law of rhythm, you'll be able to also master your thoughts. Because you will become more responsible for your thoughts because you will understand that whatever thoughts that you are emitting outside into the world, that it will give you a harvest. You will understand that whatever you sow, that also shall you reap. So my brother and my sisters, when you understand that all is mind and all is mental, all is psychological, then you will become more responsible of what you say and what you do because every action is based on your meditation. Every action has to do with your, thought, with your thought pattern. So if you want to change your life, change your thoughts. Control your, your law of rhythm. So the law of rhythm in your life must be controlled by you because you are the Lord and Master of your own destiny. So when you look at your environment, it has to do with your mentality. So my brother and my sisters, if you are facing lack, it is because of your mentality. And it means if you want to come into a place of abundance and prosperity, all you have to do is change your mentality. And I'm giving you a tool to work with. That's the reason why I'm speaking to you concerning the law of rhythm. How to understand the law of rhythm. How to understand that whatever you speak, it will manifest into flesh. For the Bible says that the world became flesh. Showing you what you speak. It will manifest. For the power of life and death is in the tongue. 
So we have to be more responsible, my brother and my sisters, of the things that we speak. Because the things that, the things that we think about is what will create our reality. Okay? Now, if you listen to All Night in Gale, where he speak about this, the strangest secret in the world, you will hear where he tell you that we become what we think about most of the time. So if we become what we think about most of the time, then we have to be more careful of what we think. So it is better to think about what you want instead of thinking about what you don't want. Because if you think about what you don't want, that is what you would manifest in your life. So, as the scripture tells you, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, if there be any virtue in them, to think on these things. And also you've been admonished not to conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So do not get caught up with the system of the world. Because the system of the world wanted to go against the rhythm of the universe. The, the, the system of the world wanted to go against the universal laws that control the universe and control humanity. And when you do that, you're going to live in worries, problem, frustration. But my brother and my sister, my encouragement to you is to make sure to understand these laws that governs the universe and governs humanity and work with them to the best of your knowledge and understanding and make sure to always apply them in your life and you would be able to live the life that you always envision yourself living. So my brother and my sisters, I hope what I'm saying to you that you're willing to apply it in your life and see the results that you would get from working with these laws in your life. So, what I would say to you at this time is to like this video, or to comment on this video, or if you haven't been a subscriber as yet, I'm encouraging you to subscribe. Now, this message that I bring to you is the single eye message of self-realization whereby Matthew 6.22 tells you that if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. And I always give you the symbol of the single eye, having experienced Matthew 6.22 in my own life, and I would have bossed my crown chakra. And I'm saying to you when, you, when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And you come to realize that everything that the sun shines upon, it brings forth in abundance. And that without the sun, there is no life, and there is no light. And that the sun powers the earth. And that without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination, and the human imagination parallels the sun. And all of humanity depends on the sun for life and vitality. That's the reason why, my brother and my sisters, I'm encouraging you to use the law of rhythm in your life by applying these principles in your life and using your mind power to achieve your every desire. So with this being said, I say peace, love you, I'm out.